you might be interested in learning about particular product or you are interested in getting some kind of notifications on some services so there is a free tool available called google alerts so there is a free tool available called google alerts what you have to do is just enter that keyword of the product name or the information which you are looking for Google is going to give you lots of content, whether uh, currently available or anything, anything is newly come, you'll get immediately updated so that this will definitely help you in growing your digital agency or your independent business. So before we go into the details, how you, you can use this service, make sure to subscribe our YouTube channel and follow us on the Facebook group. So we have good content. We also offer free products. We also let you know the lifetime deals or discounted deals. Hello everyone. Welcome to the FCRED channel. So how to create in a Google Alerts? Just go to Google and search for Google Alerts. Open this first website called Google Alerts. Once you open it, as you can see, there is a search bar over here asking you to create an alert about. So I'll just create an alert called Web Development. So this is the query that I'm going to create an alert. So as you can see, these are the alert previews. So whenever people mentions about this word, I mean query web development in the web, I'll get an alert from Google that, Hey, someone has just mentioned this query, which have, you know, created an alert. So this is how you create an alert. Just hit this create, create alert button. So the alert will be created. As you can see, there is one more option called show options beside that create alert. Just open, open this. As you can see, there are a bunch of options that you can uh, optimize this Google alert. How often? How often do you need that Google alert to be uh, at most once a day or as it happens or at most once a pick, week. So you just pick according to your needs. And one more thing is sources. As you can see, web contains all types of categories like news, webs, blogs, videos. So you just need only news about web development. Just hit that news tab, news button. Just then only the Google will send you the notifications only news whenever the news are related to web development so if you pick video so it will send only the videos you now whenever the video is uh, uh, appeared in web related to web development so like how you just pick one so one more the thing is uh, language so if you prefer any other language over english you just that pick that language or english is fine you just keep it as english and region if you have a brand and your brand is only limited to one country so you just pick that country or if you have a brand i mean which is you know worldwide just pick any region so and one more thing is how many only the best results so only the best results is nothing but google will pick the best results related to, related to this query and will send you the notifications so you can also keep it as all results so it all results is nothing but whenever there is a result out there Later to web development, Google gonna send you all the results to your mail. So deliver to here you can give a mail or you can also give you the RSS feed depends on your requirements. So once you've done all this, just create alert. The alert will be created. So that's how simple it is. So that is how you create an alert from Google Alerts. How to use Google Alerts for your brand or digital agencies? For example, if you have a brand first thing you got to do is monitor your brand like who are all talking about your brand you must know so whenever people mentions your brand on web either positive or negative you get an alert from google so that you can track those and improve your business growth the other thing is building links google alerts is very helpful in building links for suppose if you have a brand that promotes seo for youtube so by creating some you know alerts like how to increase youtube views or how to boost youtube clicks by creating alerts for these keywords so whenever people mentions these keywords in the web so you get an alert from google so you have an opportunity there to create some backlinks to that so you have opportunity to directly go to them or you have uh, you can go to the sites where all their mentions these keywords like example core or reddit so you go there and you have an opportunity to create backlinks this is how it is helpful for building links and one more thing is watching competitors see monitoring only your brand or company is one sufficient you should have an eye on what your competitors are doing what people are talking about their company on what innovative things are doing they are doing 
so by keeping you know tracking all these things you can actually increase your business growth and google ads is not only helpful for business and you know brand it is also very helpful for the individuals like if you are a job seeker who are looking for the new jobs and you want to know alerts whenever there is a new job opportunities out there so by creating some keywords or queries like jobs or it jobs you can actually get an alert from google whenever there is a new result related to that query so this is how you can actually use google alerts for your job opportunities and not only for the job seekers so if you are if you are a people who are willing to update themselves you know if you are a interested in any particular region like tech or fashion by creating some simple queries like you no know, tech or fashion in google alerts you can update yourself and you can follow the trends so this is it is also very helpful for those people by using some various strategies you can actually improve the optimization of google alerts like by using specific words and phrases for example if you are going to create an alert for the query market so google going to send you the alerts whenever there is a new results in the web like market marketing marketers so but you don't need all those you only need the query market so by adding some quotes to that word you can act, the google going to recognize that you only are looking for the word market so google will send you only when the when there is a new results out there in the web only related to the word market so in this how you can use it similarly if you are looking for the jobs uh, excluding it so if you cre- create an alert for the query called job and google going to think that you are looking for every job so you don't need it jobs by using this iphone or negative sign to that like jobs iphone it so google going to exclude that it jobs and going to send you rest of the alerts to your mail so in this how you can actually create you know google alerts by using some various strategies so that's how you use google alerts for your business or brand or for for your personal use so thanks for watching thank you guys hope you have enjoyed watching our walk through on google alerts as i told you like don't forget to subscribe us on youtube thank you